so my name is Sarthi Korwar. I'm a musician, a composer, producer. I play the drums and the tabla mainly. Born in the US, my parents used to live there and they emigrated back. So I always talk, talk about them because you don't often hear of people moving back to the country they left. And I was raised in India. I grew up there until I was 22 and then moved to London to study music. And I've been in this space for the last seven years now. Uh, and it's been a really creative space for me. I started playing the tabla when I was about eight. And I started taking lessons then and continued to do that until I was about 18. Um, I started playing the drum kit when I was about 15. Music was always in the house, always music playing, and I was always encouraged to do it. Indian classical music, I mean, the tabla itself, you know, has a language of its own. There's a whole, like, rhythmic language to it. And each kind of stroke on the drum can, is personified as a, as, as a note. You can say the note like dha, da, ge, and there's a grammar to it, you know. Like a dha will be followed by a ge, or, a, you know, there's certain rules and uh, that you wouldn't break if you're building sentences as you were. So the language of the tabla is closely linked to the language that it was born in. The tabla gives me access to a rhythmic universe that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And I use that when I'm composing my own music a lot. As a kid growing up in Chennai, one of my teachers kind of pulled me aside and gave me a Jamal kind of CD. What was special about that is I knew nothing about Jazz or Emma Jamal or anybody, but um, the fact that he pulled me aside kind of made me feel special. And like from there, it went to like Cannonball Adderley to seeing who he played with. I heard he was on a recording with someone called John Coltrane. So I was like, oh, check this guy out. <laughs> you go to Miles, and then you go to Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker. And you sort of then start discovering all these people. But what was great about that time was I didn't really have a reference in terms of anyone telling me what was good and bad music. The Indian classical music was always going to be a part of me, but it wasn't going to be all that I did. Like, I think for me, I had to reflect all my other influences and I always wanted to play the drum kit. At this point or throughout my career, it's always been about balancing those sides of me. I began enjoying playing music with other people. That was the first time I realized that this can be fun. And at that point then I kind of knew there was no turning back. I wanted to do this and I wanted to dedicate a large part of my time to getting good at this instrument. I think for a lot of people playing music, it's always bands, isn't it? Like for most people, it's, it's about getting in a room with some of your mates and just having a jam. And that kind of spirit of playing was what drew me in. I do work with a set of trusted musicians, people who I go back to a lot um, because I love their sound. I'm just fans of their work, really. I love the fact that then it doesn't become just me in a room making music on my laptop. Uh, I don't think I'd ever be able to do that. When I'm asking somebody to be in the same room with me and create, I then I'm sharing that responsibility of creation with them. Like, I don't want to be the kind of person telling somebody what to do. Um, I've got to give up that control. And that's a huge part of making music for me. And in my experience till now, it's always worked. Giving up control and letting people express themselves. I kind of can't really draw the line to when I started writing, quote unquote, but um, I kind of see it all as a part of the same process of just playing, really. For me, it often starts with just playing something. I think I, I'm a firm believer in kind of the spontaneity of like creation. It's got to come from excitement um, and it can't be too calculated. It's difficult to say exactly what your influences bring out of you. And I think the better way to look at it is to just acknowledge all your influences and then just express yourself. I think there's a sort of like um, attempt to rationalize too much also in music. And I think the way forward is always to express yourself and think about it later. Oops. Oh, yeah.
that good? That was good. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it was something. Maybe it's only a bit slow. <laughs> Thanks, Flash. You're welcome. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs>